The beauty of British Columbia's lakes and rivers is unparalleled. Those of us who live here, we know this. But something threatens to invade BC that would destroy our fresh water forever. Zebra and quagga mussels. They're an invasive species from Russia. They got into the Great Lakes by accident in the 1980s. By hitchhiking on boats, they've spread through much of eastern and southern North America. They completely decimate every lake or river they enter, and there's no way of getting rid of them. In the fall of 2014, I set out to learn more. Zebra mussels and quagga mussels are cousins. They're a clinging mussel, and they, they coat structures. And they can actually coat it so that they're attaching themselves to the dead layer inside, so the layer can actually end up being something like six inches thick. The impact on a lake is catastrophic. Then, because they're producing all this liquid feces, you get these blue-green algae blooms, which can cause skin rashes or harm your pets. They eat all the food out of the water that the fish would normally get. So basically what you get is a lake full of polluted water and zebra mussels and nothing else. So we're talking about a very real impact to the fisheries. Those fisheries are already straining and invasive mussels are just about the last thing they need. So the mussels are an environmental disaster, but they're also costly to infrastructure, business and individuals. Cost in North America so far, over five billion dollars. The effect that the mussels would have on our tourism industry, on our property values. What it would cost BC Hydro to retrofit their facilities, to have a maintenance program, it's literally tens of millions of dollars. And what does that mean? Our power costs are going to go up. Nestled in the western Kootenays is the town of Christina Lake. Like many communities in BC, it is intimately connected to its lake and river. And as you look behind me, you see Christina Lake in the winter, but in the summer, there isn't a place on there that doesn't have a boat, a body, or someone having fun and playing in that water. I was born and raised here. I can't imagine this lake affected with the muscle issue. This lake means everything to this community. It's why we're all here. This happens if these mussels get into this area, um, we won't be able to go backwards on it. And from here it could go anywhere and very destroy our province. Then, in early 2015, I traveled to Arizona, a state that sees many visitors from BC. At Lake Mead, quagga mussels were discovered in 2007. I didn't anticipate the problem would be this big. The rate that they took over the lake, they just exploded in one year, just from one basin, clear to all of Lake Mead and all of Lake Mojave. Lake Mead, as a boater, I'm on Lake Mead, and the infestation is immense. Every, every dock structure, every boat, every line, every rope, piece of rope in the water, that they colonize, everything. The only thing that we can do here in BC about zebra and quagga mussels is try to prevent them from coming in. This is not a thing you can be reactive with. You must be proactive. Because there isn't a second chance once you get infested with quagga mussels. It's now spring and another boating season fast approaches. As of a year ago, zebra mussels have been found in Lake Winnipeg and there have been several close calls in BC already. We all need to take responsibility and clean drain and dry our boats and anything else that's been in the water. That said, all it would take is one contaminated boat to infest all of British Columbia. So what do we do? If there's one solution that British Columbia could enact, it would be considering the borders as a place where all boats, large boats coming in, get checked. We need to be putting our resources and stopping it at those border crossings so that they don't ever come to our lake, to the Okanagan lakes, to the lakes in the Kootenays. And we need to do it quickly. We can't wait a week, we can't wait a month, we can't wait a year. We need to start this now. We would lose our water quality, we'd lose our beach quality, we'd lose our habitat values, we'd mess up all of our infrastructure. Let's not wait five years and look back and say, we could have done this, why didn't we stop it? The only thing that will truly protect BC is mandatory, permanent inspection stations at all of our border crossings. And the only way that's going to happen is if we all speak out, call, or email the Premier, the Minister of Environment, or your local MLA and tell them you want immediate action on this issue. 
We have so much to lose. We must protect our province. And then 100 years from now, and whoever's living in this house, they can come here and the river will be as it is. And the lake will be as it is. And that's not a lot to ask for.